we are talking about Outliers, the story of success by Malcolm Gladwell. If you asked 10 people to define success, you would probably get 10 different answers. Yet if you looked at 10 people you considered to be highly successful, you would start to notice that although the definition of success may vary, the road to success has many commonalities. A common thread among highly successful individuals is that their work fulfills them and is meaningful to them. But don't worry, you don't need to change your job to find meaning at work. You can just change your mindset instead. In Grit, Angela Duckworth tells us the parable of three brick layers. Each is asked what they are doing. The first says, I'm laying bricks. The second, I'm building a church. And the third, I'm building the house of God. Angela writes, the first brick layer has a job. The second has a career. The third has a calling. So whether you're a waiter or the CEO of a nonprofit for starving children, if you want to make your work more meaningful and fulfilling, you must get clear on how your work is making the world a better place. Just reorient your focus to how your job makes other people's lives better and doing this will greatly increase your satisfaction at work. So why is it important to be fulfilled by our work anyway? Well, studies show that it takes a lot of time, 10,000 hours to be exact, and deliberate practice, which is single-minded practice where your focus is on improving your weaknesses in order to become a master or expert at any job or skill. Neurologist Daniel Levitin said this about the 10,000 hour rule. In study after study of composers, basketball players, fiction writers, ice skaters, concert pianists, chess players, master criminals, and what have you, this number comes up again and again. So I realize that 10,000 hours seems discouraging, but it's great news for many reasons, and one of those is that talent is overrated. Malcolm wrote, practice isn't the thing you do once you're good, it's the thing you do that makes you good. See, the same research that determined it takes 10,000 hours to become elite also found there were no naturals and no grinders, meaning they found no natural talent that had accumulated significantly less practice hours but were just as talented as those with 10,000. Also, no grinds who put in 10,000 hours of work but just didn't measure up to the same skill level. This is fantastic because it means that if you have the determination to become truly great at anything, you can achieve a high level of mastery by putting in the required work. So stop getting down on yourself when you first pick up a hobby or start a new job for not being talented or good enough at it. No matter what you are doing, your current skill level is a direct performance reflection of how much deliberate time and effort you have put into mastering it. So give yourself time to develop before you judge your abilities. Now how about some tips that will help you write your own success story? Tip one is to enhance your practical intelligence. Malcolm says, practical intelligence includes knowing what to say to whom, knowing when to say it, and knowing how to say it for maximum effect. See, after a certain good enough threshold, increased talent and increased intelligence doesn't increase chances of success, but practical intelligence does. So to increase your practical intelligence, wait for tip number three, but also check out my review of emotional intelligence and how to win friends and influence people. Tip two is to surround yourself with successful people. Malcolm wrote, the values of the world we inhabit and the people we surround ourselves with have a profound effect on who we are. I know that as an adult, it can be difficult to make new friends, but ask yourself, where do the top people in your industry hang out? What educational events do they attend? What networking groups are they a part of? See, the road to success leaves clues, but you won't see them if you're not looking in the right place. Is. And tip three is an acronym, SLANT. Smile, sit up, listen, ask questions, nod when being spoken to, and track with your eyes. Being attentive to those who speak to you and showing interest in them, whether it's the clerk at the grocery store, your children, your doctor, or your mentor, will not only increase your relationship satisfaction and your own confidence, but also the opportunities presented to you. Opportunities are always around you, but if your focus is on your cell phone, you will miss them. Malcolm said, outliers are those who have been given opportunities and who have the strength and presence of mind to seize 
please them. So in summary, to achieve mastery, we need to engage in meaningful work, be willing to put in deliberate effort over a length of time, cultivate our practical intelligence, and possess the presence of mind to seize opportunities when they are presented to us. This book is full of fascinating research. Most of us are familiar with the subjects of his examples too, such as the Beatles and Bill Gates. This entertaining book is worth your time and offers so much more than I was able to cover. Let's end with a quote. Malcolm said, if you work hard enough and assert yourself and use your mind and imagination, you can shape the world to your desires. Thank you for joining me and you make it a great day.